Hey guys, welcome back to All and Law. This is a quick pediatric surgery, and today I'm going to talk about indication indications for tonsillectomy. Guys, first thing I want to tell you, this is here we are talking about the indication for tonsillectomy. Um, if you are a patient or um, if you're um, if you're listening to this, I would request you to you should consult your surgeon or physician for that because it depends on the indication. It depends on the case. Okay, so uh, this is for here we are discussing videos related to our US seven examination or any other medical board examinations only. So any treatment you should contact your physician or a surgeon for that. Okay. So let's start. What are the indications for tonsillectomy? Remember, for a, if the patient has what you call streptococcal pharyngitis infection and it's more than or equal to seven uh, documented infections within a past year. Within a past year, okay. So if it's a more than or equal to seven. And the second is if he has what you call um, uh, five you, um, documented uh, streptococcal pharyngitis per year for two years then you can go ahead with the tonsillectomy and if it's uh, three per year three episodes of acute streptococcal pharyngitis uh, per year for three years then you can go ahead with the tonsillectomy so these are really very important and another is unilateral enlarged tonsil the other indication other than what you call infection of pharyngitis is unilateral unilateral enlargement of tonsils okay because most likely it's uh, what you call a tumor or a neoplasm or cancer of the tonsil that could be there right so these are the few indications for what you call tonsillectomy very important for USML examination guys so thank you so much for watching this video and remember one thing that um, if you wanna do tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy along with this then the, the indication for that is upper airway obstruction secondary to what you call hypertrophy resulting in sleep disorder breathing and the complications then you can remove both tonsils and adenoidectomy okay so breathing problem because of this what you call hypertrophy okay so these are the indication for this uh, tonsillectomy. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to thumb up the video. And please do share our videos with your friends. Okay. Thank you so much.